What is going on everybody? It is me, Jamoka from CES, and I am at Samsung booth. I am going to check out the Galaxy Book 4 notebooks that they announced. So right behind me are the displays. So I'm gonna run over there, grab all the information for you, and bring it to you in this video. All right, let's jump right into it. First off, there are two separate models. You have your Pro and your Ultra model. So I'll go into more details about each one of them. First off, let's talk about the Pro model here. This will be your lower base model. This will be the one that is not for all your heavy uses not necessarily for gaming, just for your regular average usage. So this one does include the Intel Core Ultra 5 or Ultra 7 chips. Those are the new chips from Intel that were just announced this year and unveiled obviously here at the CES show. When we talk about graphic, it does include Intel's Arc graphics cards for your gaming performance. So if you want to do some lower end gaming, that would be okay for you. Not necessarily for all the high end gaming at your ultra settings or high settings, but it will get the job done. In storage, it comes in a wide variety of source, coming from 256, 512, and one terabytes of storage. For memory, we have even 16 or 32 gigabytes available, and that will be the LPDDR5X variation of that. And in terms of ports, we have a Thunderbolt 4, we have two of those, USB Type A, we have an HDMI 2.1 port, which supports 8K at 60 frames per second, or 5K at 120 hertz per second. And it also has that micro SD slot, so if you need any extra storage as well. So let's touch on the display here. For the display, you have a 16 inch display that is, that will be the same display in both models. Uh, it is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It is AMOLED, obviously it's a touch screen. Uh, it has a capable of 400 nits of brightness for those displays. It does have 48 to 120 hertz uh, VRR, and it does cover 120% of the DCI P3 color volume. So expect nice looking colors on your screen. Now, for those of you who want even more power, want to do even more gaming, let's talk about the Galaxy Book 4 Ultra. Now this one, in terms of the processor, includes the Intel 7 or the Intel Ultra 9 processor. So for the high-end gaming or the high-end processing, that will be the notebook for you. And if you want to do gaming as well, obviously on the graphic front, it does have your options of the 4050 or the 4070 um, graphics cards from NVIDIA. So there, now you will be able to do some gaming on that. Storage, again, this one has 512, one terabyte, or even two terabytes of storage for you. So you can really download a lot of stuff, movies, games on this hard drive, and you will have ample space if you obviously opt for the higher end of those. Memory is from 1632 and 64 gigabytes of RAM. Again, this it is the LPDDR5X variation. Uh, again, the same type of display here as in the previous model. And ports are also all the same as well. So also for you who are in the Samsung ecosystem, this will obviously work seamlessly with all your Galaxy devices. You can actually use your tablet as a second screen. You can even share files and photos to your Galaxy phone just by dragging and dropping. We have everything connected. So again, if you're in the Samsung ecosystem, this would be a great device to add to that ecosystem for you. So you can get everything that you want to accomplish right from your Samsung ecosystem. Once again, I want to thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Let me know what your thoughts are about the Galaxy Book 4 Ultra down in the comment section down below. And for more CES goodness, stay tuned right here. And do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, like and share this out with everybody. Thank you. And until next video, guys, stay nerdy.